This is Prentice Johnson from Cypher Productions Incorporated. And today I want to talk about uh, gun violence uh, in the inner city communities. Uh, serious topic and one that should be challenged on a continuous basis. Uh, young black men uh, being murdered in the inner cities. Hear about all kinds of different things. I uh, recently heard about uh, a young black male who was dragged uh, along the street by two white males. Uh, the FBI said that the the murder was not racially motivated. Uh, one of the individuals got uh, caught up in the same type of shit uh, years before, like ten years before that. And so the two people were tried and convicted of murder. Another another situation where a young man is gunned down in the inner city uh, in Boston. Um, 14 to 17 years old. Out there on the street corners selling drugs, selling crack, cocaine, and crystal methane. On the corners. I mean, literally, this is something that touches the heart. That to see uh, a mural of a young man with the words, rest in peace. They say that the murder rate is going down. However, when you look at certain statistics, you see otherwise. The FBI reported 10,067 arrests in murder and non-negligent manslaughter cases in 2007. Half of the people arrested, 5,078, were black. Almost 10% of black people arrested for murder were under the age of 18. This is what the FBI's data shows. This is how serious it's getting. How is it possible for a man that age, a kid, a child that age, to, to retrieve a weapon? The government seems to be doing, quote unquote, everything that it can to be 100% certain that these kids are unable to reach a gun, yet somehow they keep ending up with them. Where are the moral standards when it comes to giving somebody a gun? What's the purpose of giving a young young boy a gun? I mean, let's just be realistic about this shit. You're not going to be fighting a war. So what's your purpose? We're on the street, trying to make that next dollar. All the time, without any thought to what to do next, or what to do with that money. When you think about it, when you're out there selling drugs, do you have the comprehension level that says, I know what I'm going to do with that dollar when I make it? This lets you know how far ahead these people are actually thinking. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Are you ever going to be able to work in society? Why aren't these things thought about? Who is in charge of making sure that these kids think five to ten years ahead of the reality that they're in currently? This is what irritates me the most. Because the objective is to behave and be a part of a positive, productive society. Yet... These kids can't grasp the fact that they need to be able to put the correct knowledge in front of themselves in order to survive for the next five to ten years. 
So who's in charge of this shit? Is it the young kid on the street that decides his fate? Is it the young kid's family? Uncles, aunts, cousins, mother, father. Are any of these people even there? Is it somebody in the community, businesses, that decide these kids' fate? Is it the government officials that govern these communities? I mean, where does it end? When are we going to be able to stop challenging the lives of young kids that lead to the progression of our future? It's too serious just to let it go. I want you guys to think about these things and, and tell me some more stories about things that are happening in your neighborhood. And we what we want to do is go ahead and write uh, some of these things. So if you have enough information, we'll go ahead and post you also on Cypher Productions Incorporated News. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. doesn't matter the time. Hit me up.